Today is the 23rd Monday in Ordinary Time. The readings will come from 1 Corinthians 5, 1 to 8, and Luke 6, 6 to 11. And so let's begin. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. From the first letter of Blessed Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. It is absolutely heard that there is fornication among you, and such fornication as the like is not among the heathens, that one should have his father's wife, and you are puffed up and have not rather mourned that he might be taken away from among you that hath done this thing. I indeed, absent in body but present in spirit, have already judged, as though I were present, him that hath so done, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you being gathered together in my spirit, with the power of our Lord Jesus, to deliver such a one to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your glorying is not good. Know you not that a little leaven corrupteth the whole lump? Purge out the old leaven, that you may be a new paste, as you are unleavened. For Christ our Pash is sacrificed. Therefore let us feast, not with the old leaven, nor with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Deo gratias. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Gloria tibi Domine. And it came to pass also on another Sabbath that he entered into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man whose right hand was withered. And the scribes and Pharisees watched if he would heal on the Sabbath, that they might find an accusation against him. But he knew their thoughts, and said to the man who had the withered hand, Arise, and stand forth in the midst. And rising he stood forth. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, if it be lawful on the Sabbath days to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy? And looking round about on them all, he said to the man, Stretch forth thy hand. And he stretched it forth, and his hand was restored. And they were filled with madness, and they talked one with another what they might do to Jesus. Laus tibi Christe. Christe. 